All right, you guys, I came here yesterday, got a bite and missed them. It's about a 15 inch bass, it's a pretty good size. So I know the fish are biting in here. Thought about putting a trailer hook on my spinner bait, but then I'd just snag anyway on these lily pads and I'd lose my lure. So we're gonna tough it out and see if we can get him today. Hopefully get more than one fish too, that'd be nice. All right, I'm gonna make one more cast here and then we're out. It is just not going to happen here today, apparently, unless it happens on the final cast. Yep. All right, next pond. Ooh, I thought it'd be a lot harder to cast this little spinner bait. Overdid it there. That was actually super easy. It's the smallest spinner bait you could buy. Anything smaller than this is a rooster tail, basically. This pond, I got a feeling the water's really, really warm here compared to other ponds because I see a lot of turtles. A lot of turtles really active. I think we'll catch something at this pond. I've been here twice before and both times caught fish. There's one already. what I tell you? And like I said, they're tiny. But a fish is a fish on the tiny little micro spinnerbait. I just took this thing out of the box. All right, let's get him off the hook and back in the water. There he is. I mean, what can you do, you know? We'll get some bigger than that for sure, I mean. But, it is what it is. That guy was probably born like April last year. There's one, a little better. A lot better. This guy's about a pound. This guy could eat the other guy. All right. Two fish, man. It's just amazing how you can fish one pond for hours, not catch anything, go to a different pond and they're biting. That guy, let's see. He's about 10, 11 inches long. Check him for clams. Nope, no clams. All right. That's a nice bass. Even so, we can still get some bigger than that guy. I have no doubt. There he is. He hooked himself, dude. <laughs> that guy hooked himself. Not sure why they're so pale though, because they're right there in like a foot of water. Oh, he came off, there he goes. Okay. That's a fat fish too, so they are they are just gorging themselves right in there. Not sure what they're eating, whether rats come out of the sewers or what, but that was a fat bass. There's one. There we go. Might be the biggest one yet. Definitely the strongest fighter. Yep. This dude is a nice nice one this guy is like at least a pound get that we're talking 
12, 13 inches there. That's the biggest one yet. I don't think we should weigh them. I'm just going to say he's right around a pound. I knew I got bumped right there. And sure enough, biggest one on the day so far. All right. This guy might be like 1.2 pounds. He's pretty heavy. Very healthy fish. There's one. Got him. Little bitty. I'm not gonna let him fight. Look at that. This could be the same as the first fish, man. Really, I mean, we're talking a year old. You know, I'm noticing that the fish out of here aren't nearly as cold either, to the touch. Those catfish I caught in the last video froze my hand, man. It was like picking up a block of ice. What the fuck? Dude, there's no way there's catfish that big in this pond. No way. Look at the, dude, look at this. That's like a 30 inch long catfish. Dude, I'm gonna have to try and catch catfish out of here. If there's like 20 pound catfish in here, you've gotta be kidding me. Dude. That was like a 30 pound catfish. I don't think there's catfish in here, but who would who would go to a pond like this and throw a corpse in the water? Look at that, soft shell turtle. Look at that, little bitty soft shell turtle. Just making sure he's all right. He's fine. He's just sleeping. A heron would have came and killed him would have had him for a snack. He dropped his guard like that. Now, why would somebody bring like a 30 pound catfish and throw it in the water here? I don't know. I can't imagine there's catfish in here that big. That's unfathomable. All right, he's fine. Look at him go, a little pancake. Dude, if there's catfish in this pond as big as the corpse of that one I just saw, then it makes sense why there's no big bass in here. A catfish like that could eat a two pound bass. I'm gonna make just a few more casts for bass and then we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can catch catfish out of here. There's one, that's a good fish. I think that might be the biggest one yet. Oh yeah, dude. This is like a 14 inch bass. I take back what I said, you guys. I mean, there's some good fish in here. Look at that. That'd be a keeper from the lake. This guy's a pound and a half. Amazing. There he goes. That was a shock. That could be the bass that we lost a minute ago. So there are some decent sized bass in here. If there's this many pound and a half bass, there's gotta be some two and three you would think. I would have come here, you know, and fished for catfish a lot sooner if I had known there were catfish in here. You know, it's a shame that catfish died. Would have loved to have caught a catfish of that size. Catfish half that size would be fun. There's a fish. See, that is why I don't fish for catfish and not at least try fishing for bass. That is a big fish. That's another pound and a half bass, which I just am so shocked that there's this many of them in here. Another 14 incher. In fact, this guy might be longer than the last one, but he's a little skinnier, so amazing. I would definitely say the bass in this pond are bigger than they are in most ponds. I'm so used to catching like the little eight inch bass. Here he goes.
Thanks for watching, everybody.